Sciatica coming to you with a quick video for sciatica. So this exercise you could do a couple times a day. Um, but the thing about it is to make sure you stretch out a little bit first. So I would recommend just doing some forward folds. Maybe bringing up the leg and bringing it over top and pulling it in so we get that stretch. So before you do the actual exercise for the sciatica, just make sure you've done some stretching, some loosening up first. So you don't aggravate it more, maybe a good butterfly stretch. I also like this one. Um, so keep one leg in and keep the other leg straight out in front on your mat. Come up on your fingertips and just walk yourself out till you get that stretch through the back of your legs, but try to keep your back nice and straight. So obviously we would do both sides, sitting up nice and tall, pointing your toes up so you engage the back of the leg. So just anything to get ourselves stretched out. You could even do a little Sufi grind and that's just where we rotate through the lower back, bringing the shoulders forward. So almost as well, kind of like a cat cow. If you didn't want to do the circular, you could just sit here and do your seated cat cow, or you could come down on all fours and do your cat cow. We're just getting that into the lower back and hips, getting into the legs. So straight leg it again. You can come off to one side, put your palms down and just press away. Just a little twist for the back. Same thing on the other side. Okay. So say you did about 10 minutes of your stretching and you got yourself nice and loosened up. Obviously with all those poses, you're gonna hold it longer. So for the sciatica, what you wanna do, take your hands just under your thighs or just above your knees. You're gonna point your toes and you're gonna slump over. So my back is curved. And then toes point up and I sit tall. And you're just gonna go back and forth like this. So what this is doing, this is nerve flossing. And it's the nerves that come from our lower back and then run down like this, that flare up. So by doing this, we're flossing that nerve. So it unsticks. So you're just gonna go maybe like 12 times and you're flowing, so you're not holding. You're you want that nerve to be moving. So we're just doing this little action. Maybe do it twice a day, like I said, but make sure you're a little bit warmed up or stretched out before you do it. And then the other one I like is coming down onto your back. Making sure you can see crossing. So we make that figure four. And then we're just rocking it, the figure four out, because then we really get into the lower back here. So we're just fanning the legs out. So you could do this one before or after two. And of course, both sides you want to do. Figure four stretch. You can add the head in by taking the head the opposite side every time. Good. Beautiful. Back into the center. You can thread the needle, reach through and pull that figure four into. Breathing in, you're gonna feel that through probably the area. So both sides will do that. Bring it in. 
Sending the breath to where you feel the stretch. And then let's just send it out nice and long. So three stretch. Maybe take a little banana pose as we slide the upper half of the body to one side. Back to the center, slide to the other side. So we're just bending from the hips to the fingertips to make a little banana shape. And then we'll come back in, give the knees a squeeze. Maybe roll from side to side on the lower back. And there you go. Some little exercises for your sciatica.